Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's book review is for Little Bones by Patricia Gibney. Now, Little Bones is the 10th book in the D.I. Lottie Parker series. I have read, I think, all but the first two. And then I read three through this one here. And in this particular story, we have a woman named Isabel Gallagher who was murdered in front of her infant daughter. Now, right after the murder took place, the grandmother, the baby's grandmother, came upon the murder scene, saw her daughter lying there in a pool of blood, found the baby, grabbed the baby, and ran off. And, is, and now she goes to the police and saying, I want you to find my daughter's killer. So Detective Lottie Parker is the one who gets the case, and she's wondering who committed, who could commit this crime, and why did they leave the baby alive? Which is, you know, obviously a blessing, but this is the question that Detective Lottie Parker has. And then in the, uh, while this investigation is getting underway, another woman goes missing, but this time she, her son, a four-year-old in this case, has gone missing with her. To add more drama to this, the woman's body is found, but the little boy Evan is nowhere to be seen. So now Lottie is in a race against time trying to find this little boy. Well, another woman comes to the police station and says, look, I found some bones, little bones. That's the name of the book, Little Bones. So Lottie's like, oh my goodness, for a second thinking that it's Evan, but she has the uh, medical examiner looks at the bones and no, the bones are number one, way too small to be that of a four-year-old and number two, very, very old. So who do these little bones belong to? So now Lottie and her team, which includes Boyd, who is a detective, but also her uh, the man that she's hoping to marry, they start to pursue this case with real vigor because now they have to figure out what do both of those women's bodies have to do in common? What do they have in common with one another? And also, what do they have in common with the little bones? Now, while this is going on, Lottie and Boyd have their own drama. For example, Lottie had experienced trauma in her family some time ago and now she's living in an old dilapidated house a house that needs a lot of work with her son and with her daughter and with her grandson Boyd on the other hand loves Lottie they think about moving in together but there's something that is plaguing him something that is bothering him and something that is preventing him from opening up to Lottie, to communicating with her, to to unburden himself, so to speak. So that's the side drama to the case. And I noticed with this series is in as much as whatever case is at hand that needs to be solved, that's pressing, there's always the aspect of Lottie's personal life. And that's many, that's, that's, that's the case many times over in a lot of these crime thriller series that I read, is that we know these characters on a personal basis, not just on a professional basis. So that's the drama that's involving Lottie and Boyd in their personal lives. So as they start to dig deeper into this case, they find out that it, it really goes back to a cold case okay so now you have a lot of pieces of the puzzle and I just finished putting a puzzle together a thousand piece puzzle it took me quite some time first of all because I didn't work on it for over three months and then when I did work on it I could only work on it for an hour or two and third it's a collage puzzle and the pieces were like all over the place and I could say fourth was it's not your your typical puzzle pieces, I forgot the term, but the puzzle pieces are shaped oddly. So a very challenging puzzle. So when I look at this book, Little Bones, what I see is a very challenging puzzle. You have all these pieces 
and now you've got to meld these pieces together in order to solve the crime and that's what Lottie and Boyd and the rest of the team is doing so it was a really really good book a very very strong uh, installment to a very good series and the as always is the case with these Lottie Parker books the last few sentences in this book whet your appetite for book number 11 that drama between Boyd and Lottie let's just say book number 11 will be quite telling so that is Little Bones by Patricia Gibney the review is up on my blog I will link it in the description below I will also link the Amazon link and as an Amazon affiliate a couple of pennies towards your purchase of this book or any other book in the Detective Lottie Parker series will go towards my account which in turn goes back to this channel so I want to thank you for your time and I will be back with more reviews bye bye